my earthly trials over, cast my body out in the sea. Save on the undertaker bill, let the mermaids flirt with me. I'm no steamship there, when my earthly trials over, cast my body out in the sea. Save on the undertaker bill. Lisa, I am the ukulele fool, foolishly believing that mermaids play the ukulele. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It helps spread the ukulele love. You only need three basic chords to play this song, but then you also need a D7. You can play the D7 as a barred chord. You could also play it as the easy or Hawaiian D7 take out that seven and just play a regular D, whatever floats your boat and whatever your skill level allows. Do this song the easy way with this basic strum. I have a practice session for you so you can get the feel of the strumming pattern and then also know how many times you have to play it over the chords and splish splash, you've got a new song. But more advanced players might want to add a pluck strum. There's a quick little finger picking fill, and I also have a finger picking interlude. Got a little riff to start the song off, and I'll break that all down for you. All of these techniques will give you a chance to elevate your ukulele playing. You can pick and choose whatever you want to add them into this song and other songs as well. And I've got timestamps down below to enhance your learning experience. Let's dive in. We will use a simple two beat strum, but we're gonna make it shuffle. Put the beat on your ukulele, you won't hurt it, or your body, whichever is more comfortable. And say with me, we're going to go down, shuffle, down, shuffle. Shuffle down, shuffle down, shuffle that is the pattern. Down, shuffle down, shuffle down, shuffle down, shuffle. Lightly place your fingers on your fretboard just to mute the strings so that you don't get tones, just a percussion sound, a Z chord, shall we say? One, two, and play with me. Down, shuffle down, shuffle down, shuffle down, shuffle down, shuffle down, shuffle. Sure you're keeping it really soft. Use economy of motion so that you're not doing big movements. You're using both your wrist and your forearm. Let's play it eight times on a C chord. One, two, here we go. Down, shuffle, down, shuffle. verse has four lines and each line has four measures and each measure has four beats. Are you seeing a pattern here? Our strumming pattern is only two beats long so you need to do two patterns in each measure but you see these measures here? They are shared by both the C and the G chord. That means you do one pattern of C and one pattern of G. Let me play one of those lines for you. So it goes C, G, and C twice, and F twice, and C twice. Luckily, the first and the third line are identical in structure, so once you've got it, you've got it for the second repetition as well. One, two, Ready, begin.
I'm going too fast for you, I will link up in the cards here and down below as well a video that shows you a quick trick on how to slow me down. I won't have a dedicated easy play along, but you can play along with the um, harder play along that I'm doing. It'll work just fine. But for my patrons, I have created an easy play along that's available on my Patreon site. And a big thank you to all my patrons for their fabulous support. I couldn't do this without you. Let's do a little opening riff. It sounds like this. Let's go over the rhythm. Put the beat on your body and say this with me. One and a three, four. One and a three, four. One and a three, four. We do that pattern three times, that rhythmic pattern. Notice that B2 is silent. The last bit goes like this. One, two, three. The fourth beat is silent. You heard that right. So here's the rhythm of the entire riff. Get your beat with me and one, two, say it along. One and a three, four. One and a three, four. One and a three, four. One, two, three. Let's break the riff down into four distinct sections. The first section goes like this. So you're on the third fret on the A string. One and a, open and then third fret on the E string. I'll do it again fluently. And one and a, three, four. Let's do that together really slowly. One, two, three, four. One and a three, four. Do it again. One and a three, four. Do it again. One and a three, four. Last time. One and a three, four. Let's do the next section. You're going to need to go clear up to your 15th fret. And you're also going to use your 12th fret and you're going to slide to your 10th fret. So 15th fret is right here where your body meets the uh, ukulele. Some ukuleles don't go all this way. So we do the same rhythm. 15 and 12, 10. And I use my index finger and, and just pick it up and reposition it. Do it with me four times. One, two, ready, begin. Fifteen and twelve, ten. Do it again. Fifteen and twelve, ten. Do it again. Fifteen and twelve, ten. One more time. Fifteen and twelve, ten. The third section stays on the seventh and fifth fret. It goes like this. Seven and five, five. Do it with me. Seven and five, five. Do it again. Seven and five, five. Do it again. Seven and five, five. One more. Seven and five. Then, then I'm going to slide up to the third fret, and the goal is to trans go from index finger to ring finger on the third fret of the A string. Let me go three, three, three. So third fret, third fret, third fret. One, two, three, four. Try that with me four times. Ready? Begin. Three. Frere Jacques a quote in there. Here's a more advanced drum that once you learn it, you can use it on all kinds of pieces. It sounds like this. We'll break it down. I keep 
my hand in a curved position like this. I'm going to place it a little bit more down by the sound hole because I need room for my thumb to be able to pluck the C string. So on a C chord here, I'm going to pluck and then my index finger unfurls and strums. So I go pluck, strum, and then on the way back up, I pick my A string. The rhythm goes one and a two and a three and a four and a... Let's do it slowly together on a C chord. One, two, ready, begin. One. If you want to make it even more sophisticated, you can trade your thumb between the C and the G string. And if you're looking at it and going like, oh, right, you know, it's easier said than done. As an educator, I totally get that. So I have a finger picking course that I offer, which breaks it down in really small, deliberate steps. The learning activities are sequenced. You have two songs to work with and lots of pep talks for me about how we are rewiring our brain in order to be able to do more complicated strumming patterns. If you would like to add a little finger picking interlude to spice this song up. I've got that for you on the second and fourth line of every verse. It sounds like this. Can't stay here no longer. I have no steamship bed. Like that. The rhythm of this was boom, chicka boogie two. Boom, chicka boogie two. Boom, chicka boogie two. Boom, chicka boogie two. slowly. Ready, begin. Boom, chicka, boogie, two. Boom, chicka. Boom, chicka, boogie, two. Boom, chicka, boogie, two. I'm exaggerating my finger movements for educational purposes. Playing this, I would try to minimize the movement that I'm doing keeping it really nice and light so that it can be fast. Let's practice going in and out of it quickly. Let's do a D7 to a G and then to a C. Ready? Begin. Let's also do that where we have to go from a G to a C on the pattern and then back to a C. One, two, here we go. G, C, C. So here's a little pep talk. You can do this. Use the visuals to help you be patient with yourself and consistently do this day after day. And that act of showing up will actually build the nerves that you need to transmit what your brain knows to your fingers. If you want to take it further, you can create a little interlude that goes with this song using this same pattern. You could use this as the intro if you didn't want to do the riff or just throw it in where I've got it on the chord chart. Sounds like this. like to join me and do it nice and slowly. One, two, here we go. F. Well, 
if you're a history nerd like I am, you'll be pleased to know that this was written by an American songwriter, Mississippi John Hurt. And he was born in 1893. Yeah, and he was born in Mississippi. He was a self-taught guitarist, and he's known for a finger style playing that was really syncopated. He says he learned this from other players that he was hearing, and of course, we have no idea who those players were. So thank goodness we at least have you know, some records of his work. Now, he did cut some records in the late 1920s, and they were commercial failures. He spent most of his adult life as a sharecropper and a farmhand, but he was discovered towards the end of his life in the 1960s. They convinced him to go back east, and he did a university and coffee house circuit, and he came to the attention of people like Dylan. Just recently, Bill Morrissey in the UK did a tribute album to John Hurt's style. Here's the more advanced play along. The easier version is available to patrons. Come join us on Patreon. It starts at $3 a month. You get lots of exclusive perks, including live Zoom sessions with me with Q&A and jamming. If you've got a little bit to invest in your learning and then also know that you're supporting my charity endeavors, check out my Patreon page. I've got it linked up here in the cards and then also down below. Please and thank you. One, two, ready, begin. The blue's all on the ocean, blue's all in the air. Can't stay here no longer, had no steamship fare. When my earthly trials Take a bill that the mermaids flirt with me. I do not work for pleasure. Earthly peace, I'll see no more. Only reason I work at all is to drive the wolf from my door. When my earthly trials are over, cast my body out in the Congratulations, fist bump, for making it all the way to the end, or should we say tail flap? Um, yeah, so did your thumb always alternate between the G and C? I'm not sure mine did, but you know, I'm not worried. You just keep going on. 
It's a great song. I hope you enjoy having it in your repertoire. I hope it helps you on your ukulele journey. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please do that. It really helps this channel. And please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.